Hey guys, I'm Amy Long for the Red Carpet Report out here in Malibu, talking to some of the cast members for the new movie, Summer Forever. Uh, we're chilling at a beach. I'm getting paid to do it. <laughs> it's absolutely horrendous. It seems as if. It's so beautiful out here. I just yeah, exactly. can't even believe it. How was your guys' drive out here? It was awesome. I loved it. Gorgeous. It was gorgeous. Right? Yeah, can't complain. It's well, not so bad. And the traffic wasn't That'd bad. That would be kind of cool. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing it as an idea. All right. You have light this way. Getting up and setting your equipment up, like, right on, like, the yeah, stairs right there, it kind of adds a little yeah, production wanna, value. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Take, take, some, take well, some direction. You're good. I take mean, some direction? Excellent. Well, I mean, yeah, I can just come up to you like this, and, like, this way you're, I'm coming up to you rather than you coming up to me. No, in fact, they broke the mold, too, of course. They, they broke the mold? It's true. I wish someone broke my mold. <laughs> are you saying there's dozens of you running around out there? Yeah, I did. I did say that there are <laughs> dozens of me. Four, I walk into a room and an audition, 40 versions of me. Most of them are better looking than me, so all of a sudden I have to show them something special. So what do you usually pull out of your back pocket then? Um, well, for this one, I pulled out. I actually I had to do a backflip, so I did a backflip in the room, and I was like, "Cool, that's cool." But I did a corkscrew, which is like a gainer 360. I need to see it. I can do a backflip for you. Yeah. It's got to be the exact backflip. <laughs> okay. It is all beachy. That's you're so observant too. Very beachy. No, I mean, yeah. When I jump off this, it's gonna absorb a lot of my pop. Right. So I'm not gonna go as high. Watch your foot though. You're scaring me. Okay, I mean, I would say you have the job if there's a dozen other yous in the room. If you're the only one that can pull that off. A dozen other yous can do a backflip too. Are you sure about that? Yes, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure. So, is this your first movie? Are you having a good time? Tell me a little bit about it. <sighs> this is my first movie. No, this is my 15th movie, 16th movie. I don't know, you lose track after a while. Another day, another dollar, quarter. A dollar and a quarter. So your rate's gone up? Well, it depends on the day. But yeah, I think it's actually coming up to 250 if we're lucky. Even, McDonald's. Even, <laughs> on a, on, even on a set like this, what's it like working just on the beach all day? Um, it's hot. Mm -hmm. uh, you get shoes and you get sand everywhere, which is difficult. But it's a lot of fun. You get to play around, play foosball, or uh, play a football, like the little Nerf footballs. Yeah, you get to play that. It's fun, pretty girls walking around and nothing. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you do actually play a love interest in this movie. I do. And the love interest brought her boyfriend to set today. Is that awkward for you? You're going to have to do so much editing with me. My BTS role is going to be very small. What'd you say? <laughs> no, I said you, your, your love interest brought her boyfriend to set. Is that awkward? Um, no, of course not. He's a really nice guy. So never awkward. No, never. Tell me a little bit about your character. Um, my character, uh, I'm Crazy Broom. I am a stunt double. I've been doing stunts since I was a kid, so it's really easy. Uh, when you have a uh, trampoline when you're five, you can pretty much do anything. You get really used to being upside down. Um, so I just decided to do this. Uh, seemed fun. I got to play a stunt man when I could do my own stunts, which means that I could, you know, pretty much do all the fun stuff. Um, that I wanted, like, rolling off a roof. We got to do that the other day, which was a lot of fun. Um, and besides that, uh, this movie's been great. Um, honestly, I like to usually befriend the crew. Uh, since I've been working in this town for, like, 15 years, I, nine times out of ten, will know more of the crew members than uh, the actors. So I will hang out and kick it with the scripty, the grips, and lighting guys over the, uh, you know, who I'm actually probably supposed to be hanging out with. No one's telling you who you have to hang out with, but, you know, hanging out with the crew is not always a bad thing. Well, you're talking to me, man. I have the most unfiltered mouth on this set. You might not want to ask me that many questions. What? What's that? Why? What do you I'm mean? I'm joking. I'm joking. I had a good feeling about that. So tell me about any, uh, since you do play a love interest, do you guys have any kissing scenes or anything? I think she's kissed me on this cheek like twice or something like that. Uh, that's Cute. about it. Rolling off a roof though. What's that like? Rolling off a roof, uh, it hurts your hands a little bit. <laughs> uh, you get scarred up and then uh, it's, that's the most fun. That's one of the only, that's one of the 
big reasons I, I did this is because I get to flip off things and run off roofs. I had, okay, you remember in Almost Famous? Yes. Best thing part of this movie. I got to do the Almost Famous, like, get on top of the roof and sing, like, I am a golden god. That was fun. I didn't get to say the second part uh, for obvious reasons, but I still felt like a champion or a golden god. Can't wait to see it. It's going to be a lot of fun. No, wait, I have been asking everybody else, this is my only uh, common thread question. If you had Summer Forever, who would you uh, spend it with? Like Groundhog Day. If I, day. If, uh, I actually did a movie like that. Um, and who would I uh, spend it every, with, every day with? You know what? I don't know who I would spend it every day with. Um, hopefully I haven't met that person quite yet. Hopefully you haven't because you can't think of anybody you'd want to spend every day with. No. No, my cat. My cat's the closest one. Every day. Every day. Every day. He even gets annoying. So, no, I will say Raleigh. He's 35 pounds. He's a great guy. I have a 25 pound cat. Yeah, they're difficult. Her name's Hurley Cat. Yeah, and they think they don't know how, they can't see how heavy they weigh. So then in the middle of the night when they just jump on your head and they're like, oh, this seems like a decent place to lay down. And their stomach is just firmly like right here and you're like, hey, bud. How you doing? I love you, but uh, this might not work out all night. Awesome. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Leave some love by leaving a thumbs up. Also, subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know who you would want to spend your summer forever with.